performance for Mana there. Oh. Uh, okay. Wow, every single, oh, every single set, it's a new commentator. So c coming into a second set of yeah. What? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Bayonetta and Pichu. This seems like a pretty polarizing matchup for Pichu. Seems like uh, seems like gonna be able to escape a few combos. Oh, very good awareness from Mata there. Goes in for the for the option coverage there. That Nair really, really, um, really covering all that they could there. Back to the ledge with uh, Bluka. Really, really quite uh, anticipating the um, neutral get up there with uh, from Mata. Back to the ledge with uh, Bluka. Let's see. Oh, catches out the neutral getup. Doesn't quite find the trapping that needed. And um, on the ledge here, really, really quite a tough scenario for Bluka. Um, Pichu is really, really quite hard to hit for this character. I wonder if the the rose is going to come out. Okay. Closing out this dock there with a with an F smash to close. Kinda, kinda going on a low fuel here. Here goes for the da off for the dash attack there. Oh, oh, very good patience from Goku there. Goes for the stomp. Does this quite hit? The yeah, still puts him in the corner. Goes for the uh, punish on the Tigo there. Really making sure that Mata can't just do comfort picks here. Oh, you saw that coming. I feel like this is going to FD if I am analytically correct here. Nope, just staying on PS2. Okay. Stop the battle. Rosa is not gonna come out from Blue today. Um, sticking with the bayonetta. She knows this character very, 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 very well. And she is going to keep knowing this character as Diggle comes in clutch with the commentary. Otherwise, I'm going to be honest with Twitter. Um, how's it going? Um, we might have to call Jade back uh, over here because she turned down that because it was giving feedback. Oh, tries to, tries to catch a roll. This isn't robbed though, can't catch it there. Goes for the F tilt. Lands as she goes for... Oh, 
Alright, is it good now? Yeah, it's good. Alright. Okay, so. This is final being Mata and Bluka. And who do we have waiting in Grand Finals? Uh, we have Suop in Grand Finals. Suop, very good news to me. Yeah, um, of course, <laughs> for the, for the Suop fans. fan 16. Yep. Um, this is oh. a really <laughs> tight match so far for both of them. Really quite playing out the neutral to the most. Was expecting to see a uh, Rosa game two here, but Bayo, uh, Bluka just sticking to what she does best. And I think it's a smart choice because Bluka knows how to adapt over time. This is just a new matchup for Bluka. They're just going to try and get the feel of it after a while. And not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. But it's in slight disadvantage where that can change ever so soon. And as I say that, but doesn't commit too much from the witch time. Tries to catch the tech roll in there, but uh, not quite landing. Okay, okay. Oh <laughs> my goodness, he cannot be happy about that. That is a monstrous read from from out of there. They are they are clearly showing their expertise. I didn't even know Mata had a, a Pichu. Neither did I. I don't think many did. Oh, the Walkling stall here. <laughs> the T Jolt catches her under there. Look at with the grin like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now, do they stick with the guns, or do they switch? I think, I think Luca's gonna try and go FD here, if I am. Like FD Rosa? No, nope, gonna go, for, gonna opt for the battlefield with, uh, the other time for the climb. Nope, choosing a different song. Red and black, okay. If they switch to Rosa, it's gonna be the most ironic Not setting. Okay, they're still banning it. Yeah, I, I think I think that this game should be a lot more Bluka favored, or rather a lot more even, because uh, she she genuinely has so many hours in this character, like expertise that I could I could only wish for a thousand. Definitely being one of the one of the best like uh, for for a while solo mains. Uh, but with them having the Rosa, it's not like perfect solo main, but they definitely have the experience, like you said. Mm -hmm. Knowing Bayonetta oh. like the back of their hand. And I, I'm, I'm starting to notice, like, Luka isn't getting many hits on Mata, but I, and I wonder if it's because of Pichu's size. Pichu's a very small, agile character, and if you can't get the hits on them because you're just barely pixeled away, this might affect Luka for this last game, man. Both well, these players trying to adapt, just resorting to their to their comfort picks, but ultimately adapting to each other. Um, oh! Now, if Mata wins this, it's going to be the run back between Mata and Sua, and Sua yeah. which was one of the closest sets we've had in a while. But this doesn't mean that Bluka's out just yet. They just need some time to adapt. They just need some time to find their openings, get some good kills. But Pichu not being, <laughs> not killing Pichu. Pichu's at 135. How? What do you need to kill this character at this point? Um, a straight back air, which she will pancake. Straight back air. Not even up air could kill. I was gonna say up air. Oh. The neutral B. Neutral B. That works. Neutral B coming out clutch. If you can't um, beat him with hand-to-hand -hand combat, just take out the gun. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we have a reoccurring thing of talking about characters' guns. The first time I was ever on commentary, we were talking about Joker's gun, <laughs> like quite a bit. <laughs> Is that just the the repetitive joke about her Squad's commentary? Like this character wields a gun. I don't know why he's in a fighting game. Yeah, gun character in a fist fighting game. Not in my game. Oh, catching out the neutral get up there. What is that puppy? Oh, we got a little dog over here for us. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, that that's a recurring theme here for um for uh Mata's edge guarding here. They tend to hold the S mash and Bluka just tries to get the shielding off. Uh, but I guess Mata's in the rhythm games where he's uh, they are really really amazing at timing that. It might actually seem pretty even here. Mm -hmm. Look at this needs one good conversion, and already there it is. It's it's even now. Yeah, it's dead even. Slightly actually fail favored with uh, each in the corner. Just 
getting back, he's sitting back to neutral. You were bass with uh, away from him. That's it. And that's off the top. Yep. So now Blue Guy finally gained a game in this best of five. But we all know Mata. Mata knows how to adapt every time. Yeah, Mata has shown through the past. Um, Mana has shown through the past couple sets that he will seriously at all costs, or at least he will get a lot of adaption. If if he doesn't if he doesn't win, he will make it closer every single game. Not a lot of players can consistently do that. No. Yeah, it, it takes it takes someone with a rock solid mental game to um, to do that quite like Mana does it. Thing is, as strong as his mental game is, it can also be his downfall. It can, yeah. A lot of the times he gets down on himself on these losses, um, but I feel like mid set, there's there's nothing quite like it. Oh, I know his PG is too tiny for uh, the rising side B. Yeah. That's interesting. This is a very uh, a very unique matchup, and I wonder if Luka has ever had the experience in this matchup in general. Most likely they have. But it really does, does depend. That was a really good spot touch from Mata there. As he, um, oh, trapped on the, trapped on the platform there. Can't shield drop the same melee. Um, with the ledge here, it doesn't seem like Mata can get too much, especially with uh, the mobility that Bayo has. But go off to the grab, goes to the forward throw. Really going, uh, really going in here on, on Luca. Oh, the ledge invincibility is canceled out there by the, uh, oh, lap smash. Modest pressure Jeez. and ledge guards have shown to be quite difficult for Luka to recover. And yeah. Again, yeah. Luka's gonna have to find his openings because look at this. Modest facing everything, dashing back and forth, playing a bait and punishy game. This is, this is a tall mountain to climb. Mm -hmm. That's all I can say. Yeah. For sure. Not even challenging Luka off stage until absolutely necessary. Yeah. I, Luka with a quick conversion. Yeah, that was that was. I was going to than I. Oh, opting for the up, you got a shield there. Um, catches it with the ABK. Let's see what the conversion is. Oh, tries to go for the option coverage, but he gets the tackle. The invincibility covers him there. So resetting back to neutral. The back air doesn't fully connect. Goes for the multi-hit, but... Oh, trying to catch a straight up tilt. So, yep. Yeah. Oh, Nair's out of there. That is actually really, really good awareness from out of there. Uh, back throw? Yeah. Oh. And that kills. That is insane. <laughs> From the top, too. Yeah. I, I think that's goofy. Mm. What an amazing song choice from out of here. Snake Eater. And, oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, just falling out of it. But Peachy might be at that perfect percentage to just get comboed now. Yeah, this neutral's getting really, really tight, especially with the size of uh, Pichu and Luka have to getting really good reads because of the mobility on both of these characters. Bit of a custom combo there. I see you, Mata. I see you. <laughs> Throwing up moves while basically spacing Bayonetta. Mm -hmm. Respecting Bayonetta's danger zone. Yeah, Mata is just completely making sure that Luka cannot Take these comfort picks and has to rely on getting the mental next step. Yeah, this this is just a really really good showing of what what Mana can do with the lead. Was it literally every Pokemon and Victor? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is Victor the Pokemon trainer in his world? I don't know, man. I want to doubt it. If he slays vampires, I feel like he would train animals too. He train animals? Probably. Yeah. If Luca manages to win this without telling them, I will give them five dollars. Yeah, because this is this looks tough, especially with uh, the limited kill options that Bayo oh, has, you. and also the size of Pichu. I keep on repeating how many broken records, but seriously, there's such an awful thing to deal with in this match. And the yeah. Astros gonna close it out. 3-1 Mata favor. They are advancing in their grand finals versus Suwa.